I didn't come to Texas to play. I came here to work and show you something special. All right, guys, so it's been a few days since I've recorded anything, but I wanted to show you the progress that we've made so far. So come with me, let me show you what we have going on here. So as you can see, the rooms are starting to take shape. We have already boarded up the exit. So we're gonna seal this completely. The garage door will be inoperable for some time, probably for the next 20 years. So I don't plan on opening it ever again. And um, this is actually the, one of the th key points actually of the build, and that would be the electrical. You can see what I have been using here. If you can get the camera closer, this is eight gauge wire, okay? Pure copper wire, okay? So eight gauge wire. We twisted it as you're seeing on the screen right now. We actually used a drill to twist it a little more. Even though it comes already twisted somewhat, we wanted to tighten it a little, a little bit more and that definitely helps rejecting noise. And obviously there are so many more benefits that I'm sure you can search online as far as why this is an important practice when it comes to your wire behind the wall. I selected eight gauge because I'm gonna be doing 20 or 30 amp outlets and I think eight gauge is the sweet spot. I know some of you have said to utilize 10 gauge, but I wanted to do it even better. So eight gauge copper wire is what you will, what you will see here on every single outlet. I have strategically placed three outlets. Okay, so this is basically where the speakers will be for the fir in the first room, right here. You have three outlets behind them. Obviously, the intent is to put monoblocks, right? Monoblock amplifiers. And then the middle outlet is going to be a 240 volt or 220 volt. Um, and that will be for any future amplifiers that I may have that require 220 volts. Occasionally, I do end up bringing amplification from Europe. And so I want to have just in case I end up with some electronics that require that type of electricity, I wanna have an outlet for that. Now, if you see this, this is something that's a key point that I wanna emphasize. Take a look at the holes that are drilled that I had my contractor drill, okay? Three holes in each stud to essentially run the wires through all the way to where the breakers will be. But if you notice, there is a gap in between them. I don't want for any wire, any wire, to essentially be near each other. I want a gap and I want to make sure that I keep them as far away as I can from each other. The wires, we're following that same pattern through the wall, as you can see here. So again, the black wires are my outlet wires, okay? These are the, it's expensive copper, guys. This is not cheap copper, okay? These wires are not cheap here, at least in the USA. I don't know how it is overseas, but in the US, eight gauge wire, it's not cheap. So the yellow wire that you see here and the white wire, this, again, this is, as you can see, separate from the main wires that are gonna feed the outlets. This, I don't care that it's touching because that happens to be the wire that I will be using for my outlets, for my dimmers, for you know any other thing that's not audio related, okay? And so I don't care about this. But I'm gonna go a step further, okay, which I think it's important when you're designing your electrical. And I'm not an electrician by any stretch of the imagination. I've done my own homework, my own research. I'm just sharing with you the process. These wires, see that? This is for the switches, light switches and such, right? These wires that you see running all the way to the top, okay, and the light fixtures that you're seeing already at the top, these wires will all be connected to their dedicated panel. So this panel right here is gonna be the panel that I will have the contractors move 
in the storage unit, which we're gonna see in a minute. They're actually walking above, as you can hear. Um, and everything will be separate. The entire electrical system for the room, anything that's related to outlets, in a separate panel. My system is gonna actually live on sub-panels where there will be nothing else but the sound system. Nothing else at all. Okay, so I wanna make sure you understand what I'm trying to do here. I'm separating everything. I am not taking any chances here. I didn't come to Texas to play. I came here to work and show you something special. In addition to that, do you see the AC vents at the top? Okay, this is a different kind of air vent. Okay, this is gonna be that type of vent that essentially puts out way less noise than the conventional square AC vents that we typically see in most sound rooms. So I opted for the ones that are a lot quieter and we're doing it in a certain pattern. We're also installing a dehumidifier in the room. Part of the process when it comes to doing the AC system in my room was for me to actually talk to um, a person here in the Houston area that essentially has a computer software. Yes, it wasn't for free. He came in, he measured, we put in that in, the, he put that into his calculator and gave us exactly the size of the unit that we're gonna put in here. Plus, he recommended a dehumidifier. Okay, so I'm gonna have control of the humidity in the room as well separately. I'll be able to literally have two control systems, one for the AC and one for the dehumidifier at once. I'll be able to keep it the way I want it to be, okay, which I think is really cool. So moving on to the next room, and I have not decided which is going to be the main room, if that's gonna be the reference or if this is gonna be the reference. I mentioned to you guys, this is gonna be the main entry point to the room. Light switches for the rooms, probably dimmers, probably you know my uh, uh, thermostat and all of that control will probably be here, okay? And of course, the same goes here in terms of the electrical, okay? So, the speakers will eventually live here. Three outlets, again, monoblocks. Center outlet will be 240 volts or 220, whatever you wanna call it, okay? And look, we're following the same, same thing we're doing in the other room. All cables are separate, as you can see. I actually noticed, by the way, something that I don't like, and I'm gonna have them fix it, this right here. I'm gonna fix that. I already told him I want those cables away from the main cables feeding the outlet, so they're gonna come and push these yellow cables this way, okay? Now, this outlet right here, by the way, this is gonna be just like a household outlet for me to connect my, you know, maybe I wanna have a light, I don't know. Maybe I wanna have a nice light or plug in the vacuum. That outlet will be for that. I'm not gonna use the regular audio outlets to do anything else that's non-audio related. So that outlet is for that. And so I'm gonna have them, like I said, remove this, push it away from the main power cables. I don't want any sort of interference. If I can avoid it, I'm gonna do it. Anyway, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the storage, which is what they're working on above. Follow me, guys. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through the storage and what has been done so far. And I'm gonna open up the garage. All right, as you can see, we have stairs now. This is gonna be instrumental for me. Because it's gonna allow, it's gonna allow me to go up the stairs with any boxes, anything that I don't wanna keep in the main room. This is where things are gonna be stored. So this whole space here will be for that. Um, we're gonna put a light, two lights in here as well to light it up at night because we wanna make sure that we have obviously light. Um, and there's gonna be a, a AC as well here to keep things relatively uh, cool. They're not gonna be perfect like the rooms, like the sound rooms of course, because this door will remain, remain functional. And so when I get deliveries or I own crate speakers and I need to put the crates away, 
there's going to be some space here for me to do that, exactly that. And then the top is for me, and we're going to walk up there, it's for me to actually store more stuff. And obviously, the AC system right now is being um, worked on. So walk up there, and you can take a look at what's being done at this time. So a lot of moving pieces going on. So take... Let me see if uh, I'm going to walk up there as well. There you go. So all that stuff is being worked on and it's going to be a killer, a killer setup. Actually, the unit that we're using is one of the quietest AC systems available. So I hope you guys are pretty, pretty excited to see what will come out over the next few over the next three months, you're gonna definitely see something special here. But uh, right now, there is still a lot of work to be done. A lot more work to be done, but I am super pumped, super excited to bring you more content um, and to definitely let you guys see that my dreams are starting to become a reality. Now, one thing that's on hold at this time is the electricity. There is no electricity right now. And the reason for that is because I am actually supposed to be meeting tomorrow with the electric company here in Conroe, Texas. They're gonna send an engineer out so that we can take a look at the requirements, what I need based on my conversations with the person who is helping me build the electrical here. And obviously they're gonna give me options. One of the options will be for me to get a direct feed from the outside transformer straight into this room so that I am not using a long power cable from the main breaker from my home. I wanna make sure that I isolate this space as much as possible. But tomorrow I'm gonna to get confirmation if that's doable and if that's cost efficient. Because again, if they gotta get a, bring a wire from the outside and bury it, because in my home, the electrical wires are buried, I gotta look at that and talk to my contractor as far as what that's, that's gonna cost me. And so if it's gonna be entirely way too much that it pushes my budget over, I gotta have a plan B. And that's why that engineer from the electric company is coming out tomorrow to kind of assess the situation, give me options. Then the installation process begins. We begin to do the foam, we begin to do the rock wool, we begin to do you know, the, the process to install the drywalls. As a matter of fact, let me show you something before I forget. So this is one part that I did not want to forget. They just arrived. These are the soundproof doors, solid core doors, three of them stacked together. They weigh approximately 350 pounds each. Okay. And these doors are essentially a key component of the build because I don't want for any sound to leak out of the room. I don't want for any sound to enter the room. I already said to you guys in the past, these were not cheap. I think I paid like $10,000 for these three doors. They are not cheap. Think about it. Would you spend 10 grand for three doors? That's ridiculous. But I just want to do it the way it's meant to be done. I don't want to be second guessing myself. That's the point I'm trying to make. My build needs to be done to the extreme, and I'm talking to several experts as far as the electrical, as far as the insulation, as far as the air conditioning, which I'll give you more context as to what we're gonna do with the AC to keep it from vibrating. There is a lot of nuances that I'll continue to disclose as time goes on, okay? So, so far, I'm happy with the results, um, but, I do expect this to take longer than expected. I mean, I am thinking probably January. This coming Saturday is already November 1st. So I'm at least 10 weeks away from finishing. But I promise you when it's done, it's going to be incredible, okay? So what I'm gonna ask of you right now though, is to go to my website, jaysaudiolab.com and take a look at all the 20 listings that I have just created there. A lot of new product is listed just now. Okay, so if you're looking for some great quality hi-fi gear, make sure you check out my website, jaysaudiolab.com. Last but not least, please subscribe. Please hit the like button. 
so you do not miss more updates from my room builds. Take care and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.